WWE's board of directors are investigating a $3 million settlement that Vince McMahon agreed to pay to a former employee who he allegedly had an affair with. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and we got a major story surrounding Vince McMahon. Here's everything that we know so far. Take a look. The Wall Street Journal reports that WWE's board of directors have been investigating the settlement since April and have uncovered other older non-disclosure agreements involving both McMahon and head of talent relations John Laronitis that totaled to millions of dollars. The board learned of the $3 million settlement via anonymous emails received from someone identifying themselves as a friend of the former employee. The first email which was sent to the board on March 30th alleges that McMahon initially hired the woman as a paralegal at $100,000 a year, but was later bumped up to $200,000 after McMahon began a sexual relationship with her. The email also alleged that McMahon gave her like a toy to Laronitis. The settlement which took place in January of this year bars the former employee who was hired in 2019 from discussing her relationship with McMahon. The former employee moved from WWE's legal department to become an assistant to Laronitis in 2021. The email that was sent to WWE's board stated, quote, My friend was so scared so she quit after Vince McMahon and lawyer Jerry McDivitt paid her millions of dollars to shut up. The non-disclosure agreement which WWE's board of directors received a copy of on June 12th provided an upfront payment of $1 million to the former employee, with the remaining $2 million to be distributed over the next five years. The report also said that investigators have learned in recent days of other non-disclosure agreements involving McMahon and Laronitis. The Wall Street Journal couldn't confirm how many previous agreements are under investigation. A WWE spokesman in the report said the company is cooperating fully with the board inquiry and said that the relationship with the ex-paralegal was consensual. WWE later issued an internal statement to staff after the Wall Street Journal story was published. A WWE statement read, The Wall Street Journal has published a report about WWE with allegations that we and our board of directors take seriously. We are cooperating fully with the independent investigation initiated by our board of directors. Jerry McDivitt, McMahon's attorney, told the Wall Street Journal that the employee had made no claims of harassment against McMahon and that WWE did not pay monies to the former employee on her departure. This is still a developing ongoing story, but this is what we know so far. Stay tuned on F4W Online for all of the latest. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and we'll see you on the next episode of the latest.